Hey there ladies and gents, today I have an OU battle against Rever Zero or Reaver Zero of Smogon. Uh, this is actually our second attempt at having this battle. The first one disconnected about three quarters of the way through, and had it not disconnected, he probably would have won that due to, um, well, some misplays on my part, a little bit of hacks on my, on, uh, the game's part as well. But anyway, so at this point I'd seen most of his team, he'd seen most of mine, and so that really colored the decision. So anyway, uh, I go ahead and swap out my Infernape into uh, my Skarmory, knowing that it should wall this up, the worst he can do is like close combat me, and even then it's non-stab. And I'm not sure whether he's Scarfed or Banded. If he'd been uh, Banded, I actually could have Stone Edged with my Infernape, uh, because I'm faster, but I just didn't want to take the chance that he was actually Scarfed. So anyway, I, he goes into his Latias, and I don't think his Latias can really do much to me. Uh, actually, he does a lot with Hidden Power. I'm thinking, okay, it's either Hidden Power Fire or Electric. Probably not Electric, but you never know. Um, but it is non-stab, and he's got Life Warp, so usually the Latias I've seen have been more defensive. So an, an offensive Latias is actually kind of interesting to me. So I go out into my um, my Fuka Loop, my Banded Mammal Swine. And wow, that did a lot of damage, considering it's not actually super effective thanks to... I mean, it is super effective, but I have Thick Fat. So Thick Fat nullifies the super effectiveness. I go for an Ice Shard, and he survives! And I couldn't believe that, and I actually ran the calcs, and that must have been min damage. So, really blows. Uh, my uh, Loop is going to get taken out. But, thanks to Life Orb, at least he's going to die as well. Uh, you know, I'm not sure that I would, I'm 100% happy that he died as well, because, it, well, I mean, he hadn't gotten any off on the boost, so setting up Ditto would have been stupid. Anyway, here, this is kind of a perplexing move. I, uh, he sends out his um, Kabalion, and I just go for the Overheat. Safe move. Uh, no recoil or anything like that. I get a crit, but the crit was not necessary. I will post the calcs in the annotations. Uh, I do not believe the crit the crit was necessary to get the KO there. So I've taken out his Kabalion. I was actually expecting him to go out into his uh, um, Landorus T, which he had been using to wall the set for a while in the last battle. Um, but he didn't, so I'm just going to swap out here using a U-turn, get off a little tiny bit of damage, and go out into um, go out into my uh, Skarmory as he sets up rocks. And that's fine. Uh, I'm, I wall his set. It's not a special set. It's not a mixed set. Uh, at least I, so I know from the last battle, the, this is the best he can do to me, Stone Edge. And it's not going to do very much. Uh, it's going to do so little effect that I'm 100% okay with roosting rather than setting up more hazards. Last time we had this battle, I actually sent out Skarmory pretty early in the match and set up all four layers of hazards, one layer of rocks and three layers of spikes. But at this point, uh, and uh, then I lost my Skarmory, but looking at this, that was a huge, that was probably the biggest mistake of the match, because looking at his team, uh, Skarmory wall is a good large part of it. Uh, and so if I keep it around, it's an impenetrable wall for a lot of his Pokemon to get past. And setting up uh, three layers of spikes isn't really that necessary, considering that all of his Pokemon saved two evade it. And he's lost his Cabal Cabalion now. So, really is not necessary to have the additional layers of spikes. So I go out into my own Tachikoma. I was expecting him to use either uh, T-Wave or a Thunderbolt. And either way, Tachikoma should be a fairly good Pokemon to take that. So now I'm paralyzed, and that's really actually not that bad for my Rotom Wash, because it means that my Volt Switch will go second. So he goes ahead and Volt Switches out this turn, because really not too much you can do. Oh, actually, that did a lot, thanks to a crit. So, uh, you know, that pays me back for the crit with my Infernape if that crit mattered, and I'm not sure that it did. So now I'm going to have the Switch advantage, as it were. Uh, he sets up his stand stream. Actually, you know, this is now middling of the match, and so uh, he correctly assessed that sand was not going to help him uh, any more than it would help me. My my team is almost a sand team, with just without the uh, sand setter upper. Like none of my Pokemon really particularly mind the sand. I guess um, what should I call it? I guess my uh, Hydreigon doesn't like the sand too much, but it doesn't like rocks more, and so if I really cared about residual damage on my Hydreigon, I would put a spinner on the scene. Anyway, I go for a close combat here. It's not going to do very much against his... I mean, it's not going to do very much at all against his uh, Landorus, but that's okay, uh, because his health is now down low enough that I feel confident that I can go for an overheat and take it out. 
So he's going to switch out into his T-Tar, and uh, that uh, at first perplexed me, uh, because he's taking a lot of damage on uh, entry, but then I realized I'm actually losing a lot of damage thanks to the sand and thanks to um, Life Orb. So it's really not, actually not a bad play for him. I mean, again, I'm losing a lot of health here. So he could just keep switching back and forth between a few Pokemon and potentially... Oh, actually, well, at this point, I've used my Overheat. He has nothing to fear. His Landers has nothing to fear from my Overheat. So that's the, that's the play there. Also, I'm at minus two now uh, with those two Intimidates. So I'm going to switch out with a U-turn. Really, I probably would have been better off doing a straight switch. But uh, this way, I'm, at least I'm sure he's not double switching or anything like that. I go out into my Hydreigon. Oh, wait, wait, no, sorry. I U-turned against his T-Tar because it would have taken out his T-Tar at that range of health. So anyway, this is a great situation for me. I know I outspeed. I go for the Draco Meteor, and that is going to take out his Landorus at that range of health. And it would have taken out anyone else he'd sent in, in addition because, you know, it is a Specs... Uh, I think probably timid, not modest, but it's, it's still a Specs Draco meter. It was going to do a lot of damage. Here, I've got to fodder someone. Um, I mean, I could go out into Skarmory, but if he went for the close combat, it might have done a fair amount to my Skarmory and maybe a little bit too much for me to roost off. So I go ahead and sat Tachikoma here. I don't really feel too bad about that. Um, it was a, not a bad decision. And now, since he used the U-turn, I have the switch advantage, except for he does a wise play here and sacks his T-Tar, uh, so that we now both go into the blind switch. And see, I had a choice here of what Pokemon I went into, and I was really hoping, sending out my Hydreigon, that he would go out into his Rotom, which is slower and cannot take a Draco Meteor and survive. So I go for the Draco Meteor. Had he gone for the, uh, had he sent out Staraptor, I would have had to switch out and fodder someone else. Um, because it's faster. But anyway, he actually survives on the teeniest, tiniest bit of HP. Expect to calc in the annotations. I have no idea how he survived a Specs Draco Meteor. But, oh my god, and, but at least it died to a Sandstorm. <laughs> so that's like, that, I'm not sure, maybe that was max damage for all I know, but it seems like that was min damage. Um, and in which case, I've just been really unlucky with the min damages. Anyway, he goes for the close combat here. I, I had to sack Hydreigon. Uh, to basically see what I was going to do next, and I'm I'm guessing here that he's banded. I don't know that for a fact, but based on that guess, I'm going out into my Ditto, which is now going to be this guy, but Scarfed. So I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird. I was actually hoping that he had Quick Attack on his set, because I could have then not had to worry about whether he's banded or not. But anyway, I take him out, and that is the end of the battle. 